believer there are five levels of prosperity and God expects and insists that you prosper in all five areas for you to truly be prosperous the kingdom's way number one very quickly in order of priority is your spiritual prosperity I'm just doing a recap to guide our understanding again number two mental prosperity number three bodily prosperity your health and vitality number four financial prosperity now your financial resources and then number five relational prosperity these are the five areas that the believer must prosper in if you do not prosper in all five areas based on the kingdom's definition of prosperity you are not prosperous let me repeat again spiritual prosperity the health of your spirit man your passion and your drive towards god listen to me the possibilities that we command in this kingdom the possibilities that we command in this kingdom is a product of the kind and the dimension of the engracing that is upon your life i don't have the time to teach extensively on the anointing otherwise you would learn that the anointing is in levels and the anointing is in dimensions hallelujah dimensions means that the anointing to prosper may not necessarily produce healing so just because you are anointed does not mean you generically have what solves all problems the only way to understand this is to consider power like we teach in physics right so you find out that the same electricity is causing this fan to you know move around the same electricity is causing this keyboard to make sound several things with god anything god says if he calls you blessed he has enough power to veto whatever the current situation is and insist that his word does not become a lie you get the point now so when God comes, he does not consult with the current situation. The moment he calls you blessed, all the powers that reside in the Godhead are channeled towards that statement, not to you. They look like they are coming to you because the word was sent to you. No, the power does not come to men. The power follows his word. So if that word comes to you, it will look like the power is on his way to you. Are we learning now? Favor should be desired than silver and gold please look at me i want you to be very honest especially in this time of need if they drop silver or gold gold chain gold earring gold everything even gold idol if they drop it here are we together and ask and drop favor here and ask people look pick it someone will pick even is the idol that is even bigger you say after all jesus said give thanks i will break it and turn it into the face of jesus i will meet a goldsmith somewhere in kano or dubai they will break it for me and turn it into or oh, the cross at least if i'm not sure what the face of jesus is at least i know how the cross looks let it be a gold cross that glorifies jesus and is still an investment for me but the bible says if you are given that option please look at me and you are given favor he said ignore it even fine gold. Now,